How are we doing guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, if you're new here, my name is Philip, I travel the world for a living, and today I am back for the second time now, the second time I've come here, to Cairo and the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Great Pyramids of Giza. Giza Pyramids. If you look here, we've got the three major pyramids here. This one here, this one here, where Catherine, Cafe, Catherine is going up on the screen now, was buried. We just went inside there. Oh my gosh. We're now inside the pyramid, guys which I have not done before and it's a lot oh my gosh it's a lot steeper than I thought it was gonna be oh wow More? you could meet anyone in here yes discovered by Jeeves only 2nd of March 1818 that was very short and sweet when I'm popping back up to the top of the pyramid, the entrance. <laughs> and then this smaller one back here, but the pyramid's now right on the outskirts of the city. The city is right there, over in the corner. And so lots of people say, oh, it's become far too touristy, or the city's now impeding on the pyramids. It's, it's protected now, the city's not gonna um, get any further into where the pyramids are. But it's not as cheesy or as corny or as touristy as people say it is. If you come here in the off season, it's February right now, it's perfect temperature, it's about 18, 19 degrees now, um, and we're not even hitting noon yet, so it will reach roughly 20 degrees today. And it's amazing, it's picturesque, it's gorgeous. And then here's the city on the left. This was a very spur of the moment um, little tour because we landed and had nothing booked. So we landed at 2.30 this morning. Here, use your bridge over there. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you can see here right, that Nefer Bauta, he's a high priest and you can see his image over here. Mm. It's more to see inside the regular tomb than the pyramids. The pyramid doesn't have so much decoration, the one on this side. But later, they start to create what we call it the pyramid text, the tomb text, so they added more hieroglyphics. Here is like a well. They used to kill all the sacrifice animals, mm. and they keep the blood because the blood was used for the pigments. Ah. There was one, one of these next to the tomb in the pyramid. Would yes. that have been for the same thing, right next to the yes. sarcophagus? And some from the water. Yeah. Some from the water. <laughs> blood yeah. But the water. outside, look here about the daily life oh, scenes. Yes. Oh wow. And you see they do a, a very nice uh, scenes here about pulling the guy that he didn't pay tax. I call it ancient Egyptian Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a realistic daily life scenes. And uh, this is all different type of uh, offering like food to supply him, to rebirth him, to return him back to life. And uh, the people just coming to him like from his farm carry all different type of, of like uh, life equipment for uh, and he needed for next life and you see the cartouche king uh, khufu the owner of the biggest pyramid so the cartouche only the pharaohs they have their name inside the cartouche there's nobody else they can have their name the nile and the activities on the river nile and one of my favorite and this guy has just fall off i love the realistic this graffiti, guys, from 1870. Graffiti's been a thing for many a year. Well, this is technically graffiti. Yeah. But nice yeah. graffiti, commissioned yeah. by... How cool is it that we just have this entire tomb to ourselves as well? It's a hieroglyphic tomb that she's just taken us through. Um, and it, I just can't believe that we got it all, like, no one else is coming here because no one else knows about it. Um, and she knows the guys. Oh, hello. She knows the guys and the tour guides are very friendly with her. Special, special access. No, no, opened, no, no. opened only, opened only for us. Because it's, uh, the open it is special for us. Yeah. Chocolate. 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 It's already on, yeah, it's filming. Got a foreign press tour 
forest here. So our tour guide is just clearing the entire way so we get a clean shot where there's no space. It doesn't matter if there are people, I know she's trying to clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've ever seen the original Star Wars trilogy and all the like animals that the people get on and then also the noises that the animal makes um, in Hoth when um, Han Solo slices it open to keep Luke Skywalker alive. <laughs> That's what a camel sound like. They sound like aliens when they're like, like gurgling constantly in all the water, I'm not sure. Very odd. Well, that, was, that was perfect, getting a few, a few shots of some camels and the pyramids got some very good photos. But for some reason, we were being chased by a group of teenage... Were they Egyptian? Yeah, yeah being chased by these, um, these Cairo girls for some reason. I have no idea why. They took a certain liking to me. This is um, Egyptian priest, yeah? Yeah, got the hat on. Christian. Taking a ride. We made a very quick pit stop to come and see the Sphinx. So this is the iconic tourist shot you see all over with the three pyramids and then the Sphinx. And so we've just been told that back in the day when the Nile used to reach its high season and flood, that this used to be a lake just here. So the river would completely flood over to here and then this would be a lake just here on the right hand side and that's how they got all the granite that wasn't from the quarries and around this area back in the day because there's lots of speculation as to why how the pyramids were built um, how they how they got all the rocks the different kind of rocks because the rocks and some of the pyramids are made from a certain rock miles away away from the city center and the general consensus what the Egyptians say and what a lot of TV programs say is that they used boats and they got them here so when the Nile was in the high season and it would flood they would get these boats and they would basically row slash push all this granite all the way along the river and into the floodland so the, the river used to flood here there would be a lake and then they'd take the granite on the boats to the lake on boats yeah on boats so they came down the Nile and the lake was over here and you see the stone on the right side it looks like a sea stone because it's been covered with water for many years when I say it was a lake here it wasn't even long time ago it was until 1960 oh yeah, wow until so the lake was there until the 1960s yeah, the so each of these holes represents a different organ when a, when a mummy was mummified if you were and before they put in the sarcophagus, if you don't know, mummies organs, so a pharaoh's organs when they die, they were all ripped out, placed into different jars, and um, the brain was ripped out through the nose, so they get like a little pencil, and they shove it all the way up through the nose, whip it out, and then they fill the body with sawdust, as she just said, and lots of other natural like salts and things, and it preserves the body, and then they put oil on. But I didn't know this, is that every single one of these little things had a statue here, and this used to have a roof, and there would be little holes, and a sunbeam would come in, and the sunbeam was basically, it would give a life force to the different organs. So if you had an organ here, it would be the mouth. This one would be the eyes. And then this one here would be the ears. And it's so that the Pharaoh in the afterlife, when he comes back, he could hear, he could see, he could speak. It's all very interesting. It's all, all religion. It all, it all loops back into one. It's all, the, it's all the same thing. So there are 24, 24 of these different holes. So it's, it's carved completely from one piece of rock, but then these bricks are where they've been restoring it since. Yeah. <laughs> We've just left the Sphinx area and the tomb. We're about two minutes from there and this is just where loads of villages live. So this is like, she called it a village, it's more like a town. This is just like a little village. A mishmash of different buildings and different eras. She was telling us um, earlier how basically when we were coming through how there are slums in the city centre in old Egypt. They're not really slums, however the people were just given land and they could just build any houses they like. So all these houses are just built shoddily and they're all built up. Little resources. 
cracking. So many horses around being whipped and beaten. I'll talk about that in a bit, maybe. But then all these houses, and it's very similar to lots of different cities where the people just get land and they build up and it completely destroys the architecture of a city or the feel of a city, which is upsetting. But I'm going to make sure I don't get run over by a horse. <laughs> with Deluxe Tours, recommended to us by a friend. They are a fantastic married team. How long have you been doing tours? For me, nine years. Nine years, and okay. George. 15 years. 15, yeah. well, it's crikey. 15. So incredibly experienced, it shows. Um, this has been one of the best tours I've had in a long time. I came to the pyramids before I started filming, before I had a camera in 2015, and we came with someone recommended to us by the hotel. Um, and it took forever. We had about eight hours of being driven around in a car to different various shops that we didn't want to go to that wasn't part of the tour. And we've been to places today that I didn't even know were there. Like we went to different tombs, the one you saw with all of the inscriptions and um, hieroglyphics and stuff on the wall. Didn't get to do that last time. So thank you very much. It's been a phenomenal okay. tour. And your name of your team is Deluxe Tours. Yes. And you have a Facebook page or? Yes, something? same name, Deluxe Tours. Same name, Deluxe Tours on Facebook. Yeah. Um, so if you're ever in Cairo, you need to use these guys. Couldn't recommend them more. Fantastic job. Oh. At least they that must That must not be fun. They, well, they look, they look quite relaxed, actually. Yeah. Yes. Hello. I wonder what they're going to do, really. Off to, off to go get um, killed. Yeah, they look fat. Aww. <laughs> so what for everything? Do you want any picture for the night? We can stop the car. Oh really? Yeah. I would love that, but only if it's safe. Just stopped outside this highway to get a quick picture of the River Nile. Because our tour guide said why not. But we're just stuck on the hard shoulder just here. Again. Lovely day. day. Thank you. Yes, with the milky vodka. All right, see. Thank you so so much. I hate instant coffee. I'm gonna power through a coffee is being brewed, um, an instant coffee, um, and then we're going to go to the gym. And by we, I mean me. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna um, try and wake myself up again. Maybe go for a swim, or they have a sauna. We like a sauna. I must use the sauna and then come back and then I'm gonna do something I never do I'm gonna edit this video on the day I shot it and upload it maybe even on the day I shot it <laughs> What? <coughs> but I'm gonna edit a video on the day I shot it <coughs> I've just been to the gym had a really good sash session <laughs> session actually even though I'm dog tired I haven't slept in over 35 hours now a very long time i hope you guys like this little video of the pyramids if you want to come here definitely book deluxe travel like i said no deluxe cairo like i said they are fantastic they do the job well and then there's not really much else to say um out of all the um wonders of the world i've seen quite a few now i'm very privileged and very lucky to be able to just say that as it is but um this is definitely one of the ones that wasn't like uh... if you watch my channel then you know i uploaded a video um, about the taj mahal i'll link it just up above if you haven't seen it go give it a watch um and like i said i'm very privileged to be able to say that i've been to many of the wonders of the world um and um and unlike the Taj Mahal, which I felt was a little underwhelming, um, the pyramids live up to everything. I'm going to go to bed now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you're not. It makes a massive difference. My subscriber count, for some reason, has gone up despite last year that I had zero videos put out because of my knee injury. Um, I've also got a hell of a lot of views on quite a few of my videos now. My French motorbike video. Um, also going to link that in the description. <laughs> Um, is on its way to 10,000 views, which means a lot. Um, maybe I need to start doing more motorbike videos. Who knows? Anyway, like this video, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm tired. Can you tell? I uh, don't know if you can tell I'm gazeboed, as our spritz say whenever we're tired, or you can use gazeboed for anything, really, usually drunk.